Premier Desserts, The MDR, The Eatery, Teppanyaki, Butcher's Block. Before I got on Sun Princess, I was so confused on what the eateries were on board, what was included, what I needed to pay extra for. But now I've been on, I have the full guide for you. I'm going to go through the menus, the food, what I think of it. I'm Tom from Cruising with the Four Bs. We'll also be taking a look at the different packages and what you get with these packages. Now, when you go on Princess Cruises, you can book Standard, Plus and Premier. Plus and Premier do have some extra perks food-wise, and we'll go through that. Later in the video, we do have the speciality restaurants, the casual restaurants, and the Premier desserts. Oh yes, they are amazing. But first of all, we're gonna start with the places that everybody can eat at, and they're included in your cruise fare. We'll be heading shortly to the eatery, heading to the Lido deck for the fast food outlets. But first, let's head down to the Going down. The main restaurant. Situated on decks six, seven, and eight. So the MDR on Sun Princess is all in the same place with some fantastic views. Opening times, sea days, seven till nine for your breakfast. I'm always frustrated with cruise companies that they always have such an early finish to breakfast. But anyway, lunch on a sea day, 11.30 to one. On deck six, it's five o'clock first seating, 7.30 second seating. It's anytime dining, dinner, five to nine on deck seven. We will look at the American Diner shortly on deck eight. Uh, the only difference on a port day is there is no lunch. This is the breakfast. It's just called breakfast on a sea day. It's the express breakfast on a port day, but good selection. As you can see, some lovely cakes, some cooked breakfast as well. Thank you to Sweet Natured. Check them out. I will put their channel in the description. They provided some extra footage here. So that is breakfast and you've got to be up early to catch it. Then on to lunch. Now on this day, it was St. Patrick's Day. So they did a special menu as well as the normal lunch menu. And excellent as well. There was lots going for the American diner. There was big queues, so they opened the lunch early. But here we go. Here's the menu. Good selection. I had the Plowman's, and it was nice. It was yes, it was a nice lunch item, and we had some fantastic views out to sea. Ernest went with the shepherd's pie. His view was it wasn't as good as Mummy's, but it was good, and the cheesecake was just okay. But a good variety, and good to see that they adapt the menu for special occasions like St Patrick's Day. On to the evening. As mentioned, it's seatings on deck six. You've got to book it, book it for the whole cruise or just for that evening. And it's more flexible up on deck seven. You can book, but you can also just turn up. The kids menu, really good. There was a good selection. Also on the menu, there was some hilarious jokes. You can also draw your family, etc. So lots to keep them occupied. And the service is really good, especially with Ernest. I went for the steak, this was included. You can also go for another steak, which is an extra charge, all explained on the menu. This was pretty good. And this was Ernest's burger, once again, very good. On to everybody's favorite part, on to the puddings. Once again, I think good selection, cheesecakes, sundaes, but I went with the love boat pudding, and this was good. This was really good. More, oh, could I have that right now? That was delicious. Right, okay, we move on to deck eight now. This is the American Diner, open for, brunch if we call it 10 30 to 2 30 and an evening 6 to 10. the first part of the menu is the menu for the brunch is also available in the evening it was okay in here the food was was nice it wouldn't win any awards what i would say though is it was a bit strange it's an american diner but it's in a normal mdr so it's no different to six and seven decks and so it looked a bit strange just felt a bit strange you're eating american diner food but you're in a main restaurant on avia for p o uh, which is sister company to princess they have an american diner and they have the 50s music it's all set out like an american diner i imagine they decided to do this they want to change it in the future they don't need to change the decor but for me it was okay but i prefer if they were going to do the american diner to really do the whole thing but here is our food and we ordered far too much 
And for suite guests and reserve suite guests, you do have your own restaurants. And here they are, and you have your own menu. Those are the main dining rooms on Sun Princess. If you're enjoying this video, give it a like. It helps spread this video further. If you love cruise content and want to be the first to know, hit that subscribe. It's free, and from the four Bs, it's a massive thank you. The eatery on board. The hours are continental breakfast from 5.30, normal breakfast 6.30 to 10. Then you have a great area at the back. The catch and the butcher's block in the evening is opened up for the buffet. It's open till 2.30 from 8 on a sea day and on a port day it's open till 11. You'll get to see that shortly, but it's a much quieter area. Lunch, 11.30, 2.30, dinner, 5.30, 9.30 and late night stacks, 9.30 to 10.30. Is it just me or is that quite early for late night snacks anyway then there's also the promenade pizzas tacos and ice creams this is just outside of the eatery on deck nine midship different on sun princess is the fact you are served all of your food so all of your food is served to you i much prefer this it makes it much quicker and less mess and this is the area at the aft so in the evening this is the butcher's block and the catch and then at breakfast time and on sea days at lunch time it is opened up for the eatery but it's a lot quieter so head to the aft if you want a quieter area breakfast a good selection you've got your cooked you've got your pastries healthy selection as well we really enjoyed the breakfast throughout the day you're also served your drink so you no need to go to the drink section we were served pretty much immediately every time we were in there that has to keep up for that to work for the serving they have to keep that level of staffing we also had omelette they are made in front of you choose your fillings and here we go here was our choices we went here a couple of days and, and we enjoyed it we enjoyed the breakfast um, in the eatery throughout the day this is lunch and also you've got dinner love this the baked potatoes could be slightly warmer but loads of fillings really love that idea you then got healthy sections mediterranean asian you've got pasta and you also have a little kids area as well and cakes also you can take from one section then hand them the plate and they'll add to your plate as well and they always hand it to you at the side of the serving station which i think is a nice touch Ernest had lasagna one day with a jacket potato and I had some meat, but that is the eatery. Let's head now to the last of the complimentary food. Let's head to deck 17 and the Lido area where you've got four food stations. We're gonna start healthy to start with, with greens, a selection of fruit and salad. It was presented really well. It looked delicious. We didn't actually sample it, but it's great that you've got a healthy choice in Lido Greens. The second is the Lido Grill. You order, there's always a helpful member of staff waiting for you. you they take your order, you get a buzzer and rest while they cook your delicious food. And then when the buzzer goes up, you go and collect it. You have Three different types of burger, including a veggie burger, and two types of hot dog, including a breakfast. And then you can chill by the pool. This was a port day. It was nice and empty, beautiful sunshine. It was wonderful. Next up is the Lido Slice, which is pizzas. Four different varieties of pizza, including a vegetarian option, a special of the day, and a meat option. Ernest really enjoyed this. And then we're on to the Lido Tacos which again, a large selection. You can choose your toppings. There we go, you've got pulled pork, you've got vegetarian, you've got some nachos. Out of research, we decided to go for all of them together, well, except for the greens. And yeah, very, very tasty as far as fast food goes. And it's a lovely setting up on the Lido. To conclude things that are complimentary, coffee currants, you do have these cakes, 
and in the International Cafe you have some more cakes for you to enjoy with your hot drinks. These are midship down in the piazza. Let's take a look at room service. Very simple to start with, gets complicated in a minute. For breakfast, it's simple. You have this card and it's filled it out. You pop it on your door the night before, click a time, and then it arrives. It arrived 10 minutes before, about 20 past eight. We had it booked for half eight, and it's really good, really hot. Some lovely items, including this muffin, kind of McDonald's muffin, but yeah. Very, very good, efficient service for breakfast. We then move on to Ocean Now, which you can order things on the app. Now, if you have booked no package, you have to pay $14.99 to unlock this, and it's a $5 delivery fee. If you are on Plus or Premier, the delivery fee and the unlocking is waived. When you order your items, if there's anything that's extra, it will say, also, if you're on the Premier, you've obviously got the drinks package. Um, there will be a total at the bottom, but once you get to the actual total page, it will put down a zero. The only thing we had to pay was for a bottle of water, but it's all clearly stated. It all arrived. Ernest had some jam and peanut butter sandwich. I love that key lime pie. Beers, loads of selection. Once again, really efficient and arrived within around 15 minutes. You are supposedly able to order things throughout the ship in these bars but we found it a little bit patchy how's your experience been plus and premier guests get premium desserts and ice creams head to coffee and cones deck 17 these are the premier desserts look at them the da vinci the donatello the leaning tower the lake como the godfather and the michelangelo they are delicious oh yes they are crazy if you're a plus guest you get two per day you're not going to eat two and unlimited if you are a premier guest but check these out we went through five we managed to get through five of them Ernest gives them a massive thumbs up but you can't eat the chocolate at the top as Ernest demonstrates I know you will but always make sure you eat all the way to the bottom there's always a nice little surprise like a brownie The coffee and cones, there's also the juices. These are included, unlimited in the Plus and Premier packages. Heading down to deck number seven, you also have the Gelateria, which offers ice cream, some fine ice creams, extra pay ice cream. Some of them are included in the Plus and Premier packages. Just ask the staff and they will assist you. The casual venues on board, two of them, Alfredo's and O'Malley's, the Irish bar. What is a casual venue? Well, a casual venue, if you've just booked the cruise, then you have to pay and all the prices are stated on the menu. If you are a Princess Plus guest, you get two meals at a casual venue per cruise. And if you're a Premier guest, then you get unlimited visits. This is Alfredo's, voted the best pizza at sea. It was really good. It gets very busy though, especially on sea days. Good variety of pizzas with some stunning views in the atrium. As you can see, I enjoyed that. That's midship deck nine, open 11 till 9.30. As mentioned, it gets very busy, especially when people are returning from the trips. O'Malley's is the Irish bar on board. It does food between 5.30 and nine. Quite an extensive menu. They've expanded the menu slightly from Enchantment, which is the other ship in the fleet which has O'Malley's. And as you can see, all the prices are stated if you are a original guest. Um, it was nice. Uh, the pork chops were a bit fatty, but I uh, did enjoy it. The onion rings were delicious. We accompanied that and Ernest had the wings, which... If you're not into your spices, the spice is on the side of the plate. But as mentioned, it's a good alternative to some of the other restaurants on board. I would like another casual venue, would have been great. Maybe a third, maybe the sushi, which was originally going to be a casual venue, would have been good. Then you would have got more value out of it, especially if you're on a 10 day cruise. But those are your two casual venues and it might be accompanied by a little bit of music. Okay, 
Okay, let's move on to the speciality restaurants. We start in the Teppanyaki, $45. Seatings are at 5.30 and 7.30. Don't forget, if you're a premier guest, you do get two speciality meals included, bookable on the app or in person. Here is the menu. Choose from a starter and then two main courses to be cooked right in front of you. There's also cocktails that are for the teppanyaki only. This was rather tasty. And then I moved on to my soup. Main entertainment then begins. As you can hear, we love this guy. He was absolutely brilliant. He was a brilliant chef, a real entertainer. Around our table, we had George Michael. I was Tom Cruise. Ernest was Justin Bieber. He did not stop singing the whole time. And here is the food that was presented well. They asked whether you want it well done, medium or rare. You got your rice and compliments. And once again, he just did not stop singing. It was real top quality entertainment and lovely food it was an excellent evening i highly recommend heading to the teppanyaki but it does get booked up quite quickly so get on it as soon as you get on board the ship now this is the hot pot new for princess cruises once again it's one price 45 dollars you then get to choose your broth now we thought this was kind of a soup starter but it's not it's actually what everything is cooked in i don't know whether i was just being an idiot but then you did choose your either vegetarian options, your fish options, or your meat options. It did say that you had to have two from each, or you could mix and match, but he didn't really seem to care. He just seemed to say that, you know, whatever you want, we'll bring to the table. Then you've got your spices. This is the fish which came to the table. You've got your vegetables. They fill your whole table up at once. So your whole table has all of the food in front of you. You then have the hot pot in front of you and they put on the heater and then they heat it up. Now, one thing I would say is the guy kind of, he was excellent actually, our waiter, but he served it all up and then kind of left and we were like, sort of said to him like, how long do we got to cook this for? How long do we cook the meat for? Etc. So he then did give us a description. He was, he did apologise. It's a new concept. And then we kind of just threw it all in kind of and we just got cooking. It was great fun. We absolutely loved it. As you can see from these pictures here, everything sort of got put in together but it was delicious we had such a fun hour and a half in here the spices were lovely and this ice cream was incredibly hard but i really highly recommend once again this room the teppanyaki in the hot pot is really entertaining it's it's great and uh, some lovely food as well and to complete the third of the new type of restaurant japanese it is the sushi and you'll find this in the piazza lovely little space you'll see here a selection of eight courses and this once again is 45 dollars for adults and then it is slightly cheaper for kids 22 dollars this culinary experience a carnivore's paradise is butcher's block you'll find this at the aft of deck nine part of the eatery in the evening it is butcher's block by dario dario ciceni is a famous italian butcher you get your meat demonstrations you get the history behind the meat and you get a lot of meat meat and meat if you like meat this is the place to head if you don't or you're not the greatest fan of meat i would avoid this one but the food is delicious but you only get a jacket potato with the meat so it definitely is a meat lover's paradise 45 dollars is the price and bookable on the app butcher's block sabatini's is the speciality italian restaurant on board a fine selection of italian cuisine it's $45 per adult. Really like this venue here. Really classy venue. 
This is what the cruising gays had on board when they sampled. You can catch them on Instagram. Give them a follow. Another returning favourite is The Catch by Rudy. The seafood restaurant on board with some fine seafood and a really extensive menu. And lastly, returning, another princess favourite is the steak restaurant on board. It is the Crown Grill. Always gets booked up, so make sure you do book up in advance or when you get on board. Once again, we've got seafood, we've got steaks, we've got soup, salads, we've got some fine dining here at Princess's Crown Grill. This will be the venue for the romantic food experience, Love by Brito. Open at some point in 2024. If you experience it, please let us know your thoughts in the comments. Darren McGrady will also be bringing his royal afternoon tea at some point. And once again, if you experience this, please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Press on the screen now if you'd like our full ship tour of Sun Princess.